Parker here with Jay Chen. Tonight we're going to be discussing pistons, the parts of a piston, and their functions. So generally pistons have three rings. They have two compression rings and an oil ring, which is split into three sections. Now the grooves that they sit in are called lands. The pistons are held to the connecting rods by wrist pins. This is a full floating wrist pin. It is not pressed in, it is held in by C-clips. On the rod side, there is a rod cap. These are the rod bearings. This is actually what spins on the crankshaft as the piston turns up and down in the cylinders. The sides of the pistons we refer to as piston skirts. This is the point that you would actually measure the piston. There are different kinds of piston heads. This is a flat piston head. There are also dome piston heads, concave piston heads, and recessed piston heads. All specific to engines and manufacturers. On the connecting rod, on the top part of the rod, there is a small hole and that allows oil to pass through and lubricate around the bearing where it is attached to the crankshaft. The coatings on the sides of the skirts of the pistons are generally a uh, molly denim or a ceramic and that helps to reduce friction lowering the operating temperature of the piston. When disassembling an engine uh, and you're going to reuse the pistons and connecting rods, the same engine, you want to mark the piston and the connecting rod together to make sure that you match them up so that you still have the perfect round that's going to attach to your crankshaft. Um, a good idea also is to always mark which side is the front of the engine so you know which way you had it sitting in the cylinder. Thank you.